Hello my crafting buddies, this is Wilma in the Netherlands and the sun is going down, it's been sunny for a few days, lovely weather. I would like to share with you two totally different things, one of them being I took an online workshop on Facebook, this is a closed group from Miranda Degenaar, she's a Dutch artist and she taught the participants to make these wonderful backgrounds. Um, I used, um, look, there's some gold in there. Um, this is done with Neocolor, Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2 crayons. And then you, you just put that on your rubber stamp and stamp it off and use water, loads of water. So this is, um, well... I, I just wanted to show you I had such a lot of fun and what is the result now th this one I took out of its uh, bag but these are still in so I'll try to move them in such a way that you don't get the glare for the backgrounds I used background stamps by now in let's say impression obsession cover a card they have loads look at this this wonderful leaf and stone wall and again i used you can't sit tell because of the glare i'm sorry about that but i i wanted to protect the cards um when people look at them this is embossing powder and this is a sparrow and Think this might be a rose or a poppy whatever you want it to be bloom and grow this stamp is um, by visible image so that was my that was my um, paint stamping craft and then for now what am I going to show you Right, here we go. <laughs> You'll think, what are you doing, Wilma? Well, this is all fabric. And I watched a video by Andrea Allen again. And what did she do? She made, she took some bigger and smaller. I went my own way with it. Paper clips. And made these for in a journal. So it's a paper clip. I just just used a pair of pliers and put all this these different things on. Some trim, a button, different colours. I wanted to keep it a bit like spring. This is upholstery. This lovely colour. And some flower trim. It looks like a bit of a trellis, but that is net curtain, the net curtain. This is a big one. It's one of the biggest. I really enjoy doing this. Look, I just glued it with Fabri-Tac or three in one, whatever you have. That's the type of glue that works with this. Oops, there's still some frays from the fraying. It's lovely to fray the fabric because, you know, and that gives it such a lovely feel. Now this one. I really enjoy doing this. So maybe I give you some inspiration. It's just gluing things together, fraying it, using trim. I put some buttons on. And down below in the box, I will um, put the link to Andrea Allen's um andrea allen's video on youtube okay that's it very short but i hope you liked it if if you did just press the um, like button thank you bye bye